So now we have this slightly more complicated example, but we're going to take it step by step like we've been doing before. So the first step is drawing, redrawing the beams with its reaction forces. So we notice that here it's at its roller. So that means the roller only has an upward force in the y direction. And B, it's at a pin. So that means we know it has an upwards force in the y direction and a reaction force in the x direction. And now we're going to just redraw all our previous forces that we had before. We had 2F, we had F, and we had F. So now we're going to find our equilibrium equations like usual. So we know that forces in the x direction is going to be equal to zero, forces in the y direction is going to be equal to zero, and the moment, we're going to take the moment at A, is going to be equal to zero as well. So we notice that the forces in the x direction, we have 2F going in the positive x direction, with BX also going in the positive x direction. In the y direction, we have AY going up, BY going up, and the two forces coming down. So the moment here is a little tougher to find, but we could still do it. So we know that at A, there's just the 2F and the AY, but that's at zero distance away from the pivot. So we know that that's going to not be affecting our momentum. So we're going to look at this force. This force is the distance L over 3 away. We do right-hand rule, and we know it's going to into the page. So we know it's going to be negative F times L over 3. We could do the same thing with this force. In this case, it's another L over 3 away, so it's going to be 2L over 3 away. So we're going to go, again, it's going to be negative 2, FL over 3. And the last one is going to be going in the out of the page, so positive, and it's going to just be BL. And again, we're going to just do some simple math. We're going to find that BX is equal to negative 2F. We're going to find that BY is going to be equal to F. And we're going to find that AY is equal to F. And those will be our final answers.